Well, hello. Welcome to Zentangle in October, day 17. Today I'm going to be drawing Lolly Wimple by Sandy Hunter, CZT. And I'm going to start by really lightly drawing in some new strings. And I'm going to sort of draw one that auras this outer grid line right here. And I'm trying to draw, you know, as light as I can, similar to you know, when we would typically draw strings on our Zentangle tiles. And right above the next grid line here, I'll do the same thing. I will draw a really light aura line right above that grid circle. Now I'm going to start on that inner string that we just drew, and I'm using my PN Micron pen, and I'm going to draw an orb. And for me, I'm going to choose to draw you know, a pretty large orb here. And then I'll leave a bit of a gap and draw a smaller orb. And all the way down this string, I'm gonna go in this pattern. A larger orb, a gap, a smaller orb, a gap, all the way until the end of this grid line. On the outermost string that we just drew, I'm going to do the same pattern, but this time starting with a smaller orb and then a larger one, so that my smaller orbs align with the larger orbs I drew first, and my larger orbs on this line align with the smaller orbs that we drew first. And I'll continue in this pattern all the way down this string. Now for the rest of this, I'm going to follow sort of like the pattern um, crescent moon, where for each one, I'm going to aura each orb, but the aura is going to start and stop along that string that we drew. As the auras start to come together, I'm going to continue on with that pattern that, that we would draw as if it were crescent moon, such that as an aura comes too close to another aura, I'm just going to let those two auras join together. You'll see what I mean in a minute.
All right, so right here, as I draw in, my auras are pretty close, so I let them just join together. And anytime they're close, I let them join and continue adding extra auras until the space is completely taken. And if there's only like a little bit of a sort of triangular space, I'll fill in a little triangle and ink it in. We'll see how it goes. So like right here, yeah, there was just enough space for a little triangle there. For this last orb, I'm just going to let the aura kind of trail off. So I'll go part of the way and then leave about three dots. And I'll continue doing that. Like here, I'll just stop a little bit earlier, add three dots, and let it just sort of trail off. All right, it's time for some shading. So I'm going to start by adding graphite right along those strings that we drew when we started, and then also along the outer edge of each orb.
Now, wherever I see any points in those internal auras, I'm going to connect those points with just a really light line of graphite. It adds just a little bit of depth, again, similar to when you're drawing crescent moon. And then I'll add a little bit of graphite, just a bit of a, a backward C shape, a nice little curve of graphite into each orb. Let's go ahead and blend all of that in. And you'll notice here that as I'm blending this first time around, I'm using pretty big circular shapes to spread out that graphite. I want it to go both a little bit inside the pattern and a little bit outside to create a shadow.
Now that shading's looking pretty good, but I do want to add a little bit more of drama. So I'm going to create just a darker line right along those strings that we initially drew. And I'll also, on the way back, add some graphite just around the right lower right hand edge of each of the orbs. Let's go ahead and blend all that in, but you'll notice this time, I really want the graphite to kind of stay in place. So I'm going to be using much smaller circular patterns, circular movements, as I blend in this sort of dramatic graphite layer. All right, that's looking pretty good for today. Thank you so much for joining me to draw Lolly Wimple. If you haven't said the name Lolly Wimple, you definitely need to do it. It's a fun word to say. 
Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.